What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're taking a look at why does windows slow down over time now many people that have used windows over the years have probably realized that after a while their computer becomes really slow and sluggish and there's quite a few reasons why this happens so that's what i thought we'll cover in this video i get asked this pretty much most of the time why uh, why it happens to their computer after a while when they do a fresh install it's super fast and then within a few months it becomes really sluggish so let me explain some of that for you so the first thing that normally causes uh, slow startups and slow systems over time will be your startup area which is what is actually loading up when you boot windows up for the first time so if we look here startup impact you'll see that there is a bunch of uh, programs that are loading up at the startup and of course we've got zone alarm anti ransomware here we've got other things that are loading up as well now of course you can disable a lot of this stuff but obviously you want your security software uh, to load up at certain times and and obviously at the beginning is a good time to have that loaded up but sometimes this gets really uh, full with loads and loads and loads of programs where people constantly install stuff and they don't uninstall things so you can change the priorities uh, for these as well uh, but personally uh, just removing some of these or disabling them is probably going to help the load up time and you can see here last BIOS time was 20.0 seconds so this is basically your loading time here so you can disable these now of course you could also be having a mechanical hard drive which will slow the uh, boot up process down as well so if you've got loads and loads of programs that are loading up and you've also got a mechanical drive this will slow the whole process down as well and of course you can also have a lot of uh, other issues with it like you may be infected and stuff like that but we're not going to go too much into that in this section this is just about the startup programs area so always keep an eye up here and keep an eye on the impact and what type of programs you've got loading up and remove a lot of these that you don't need so just disable them uh, for the ones you don't need okay uh, to load up okay so let's move on to number two which can cause a few problems as well and I've seen this just recently uh, with someone on our discord server which we are helping at the moment and he had a load of security apps running on the system and if you look here a lot of people sometimes have way too much some people think that having more security is going to protect them and sometimes it actually works less um, for you because you've got way too many conflicting uh, security programs start to protect you so if you've got way too much stuff it's not good and it can slow the system down so ransomware protection maybe you've already got ransomware protection you don't need to have two or three uh, different types of ransomware protection again antivirus programs you can see here we have got malware bytes running on the system here and we're also using windows defender so whether you want to uh, you know whether you want to use something a little bit less um, demanding on the system you have to check some of the resources now when you check the resources you'll probably see that sometimes coming down uh, to your performance and you'll see uh, resources here you can see all the memory being used and stuff like that and you can open up resource monitor and monitor what is hogging your system now you'll probably find that most of the time what hogs your system is security programs and that's because they're trying to protect you they're running in the background they're booting up right on boot up and it just really constantly doing a daily tasks so everything you download and and everything you do on the computer it's going to be scanning those files it's going to be running scans in the background and things like that so if you've got a bunch of them uh, on the system this can really grind the uh, computer to a halt so just be very mindful on what you're installing on the system and keep it very minimal you don't need uh, a lot you can have a firewall an antivirus program and uh, you know you can have a secondary line of defense as well if you wanted to 
uh, maybe a backup program but remember the more you start installing that uh, needs a lot of um, resources you're going to start seeing a decline in speed on your computer it will start to wear down and slow down so moving on to the next one what another problem is is I see quite a bit is people downloading software which they don't need they are probably reading some article online or they are listening to someone else saying you need this particular type of software in this case driver booster and programs like that you don't need software installed on your system like this at all if the PC is running fine you don't need to constantly update uh, the drivers and stuff like that mainly the main drivers that you probably want to keep updated are your graphics drivers but having this running in the background and running checks and having little nag boxes popping up is not going to help you whatsoever also uh, PC boosters and things like this are another particular type of program that are quite resource hungry and they will literally hog all of your resources on your computer now another thing that generally happens with these particular types of programs is they're poorly coded and they're poorly created and what that means is sometimes you get a lot of memory leaks and stuff like that and it will resource take all your resources of memory and things like that so be very careful uh, with these particular types of programs I do see a lot of these programs on people's PCs registry cleaners like these that will obviously uh, give you some sort of marketing spiel here you can see here 10 years on the market five star awards 20 million plus user downloads it's all just really trying to get you to download and install this particular type of uh, software and what it's going to do is most of these are literally are going to grab all as, as much information about you as possible and send it back to them and of course you're going to get bombarded with this sort of nonsense all this uh, propaganda here which you'll see five stars you know pc magazine awards and all this sort of nonsense just stay away from them you don't need them today uh, on the modern day of computing so stay away from these particular types of programs and uh, you will see a much more better uh, pc uh, usage with uh, without those on there so next up we're taking a look at the browser extensions and toolbars which people download all the time so these are extensions which you can add to your browser but be very careful on what you add you don't need loads and loads of these they can slow the browsing experience down and you really don't want to be doing that because obviously it will make your experience when you're using the internet super slow and this can give you the feeling that your PC is slowing down when it's really your browser you're actually loading it up with you know unnecessary uh, add-ons and things like that and I know uh, a lot of people do this quite a bit they download uh, say for instance uh, you know games and also other add-ons search uh, boxes and stuff like that and you can end up with a ton of stuff that you don't really need so be very very careful when you're installing applications uh, you'll end up uh, with um, tricky uh, software that will try to embed uh, these particular types of add-ons into their programs and you'll go and install them and basically what will happen is you'll end up uh, with uh, an extension or some sort of uh, search box or toolbar on there that you don't really want now unchecky does a pretty good job at stopping that from happening but it does it's not 100 percent uh, foolproof it, it will literally uncheck a lot of those boxes but there is some software out there that will slip through the net so you just have to be vigilant when you're installing software and just make sure that uh, you're not uh, going to be installing stuff that you don't need because what will happen is that your PC will start to fill up and it will start to become really really slow so let me give you an example of what that means so we're going to download this mini tool partition wizard uh, free version and we'll download this and get it installed and you'll see what actually happens when during the installation process another thing you need to bear in mind when you're downloading programs is make sure you're looking at the actual software itself and some of the limitations for the free version you'll see here we've downloaded it and you'll see free to recover one gigabyte of data this is obviously no good to a lot of people because you're soon going to 
realize that after you've just spent hours running a scan on your drive that you can only recover one gigabyte before you uh, have to pay for the software and of course they've got you in a bit of a tight spot now because you've spent a long time downloading the software now a lot of companies do this and this is one of their things that they like to do to try to hook you in so we'll go ahead and start to install here and you can see my firewall uh, kicking up here so I'm just going to let this go through now this is exactly what I'm on about so it wants to also install the mini tool shadow maker free as well now if you don't remove this uh, it's going to start to install that uh, software on there so you would have to remove this and also the participate in the customer experience you would have to then remove that you go next then next again and again now we're getting McAfee web advisor oh let's have a look here how we can get rid of this so you what you don't want to do you can see it, how it's already highlighted the accept here you don't want to do that you would want to hit decline and it will continue with the installation of the mini tool partition wizard uh, but it won't slip in this unwanted program so that's what you have to do you just push decline and it will continue with the installation and skip out these programs this is what's called open candy uh, or you know stuff like that which is going to basically install stuff that you don't really want so try to avoid these uh, sort of uh, programs if you can if you do need it then you can install it it's not going to hurt your pc just make sure you decline i'm just going to back out of that and if you look here you'll see what toolbars are like they are actually installed into the browser and you end up with a massive amount of uh, search bars here and other areas in the browser so you don't really want those on there because they will start to slow down your browsing experience and slow down your computer you'll get nagged with a load of uh, nag boxes getting you to buy stuff and also you'll get a lot of redirects on your browser going to advertisement pages which uh, can actually slow down uh, the whole PC so you want to also remove a lot of junk files from your computer from time to time and you don't really need to install any sort of software really to remove junkware or junk files from your computer the windows 10 has storage sense uh, built into it you can turn this on if you wish and it will start to remove uh, all of the uh, temporary files here so you can see here temporary files has got 230 gigabytes on here already of junk files which are stored in my computer so you really don't want anything like that on your PC you want to remove all of that sort of stuff you can see also um, apps and features your documents it gives you a good old uh, overview of what you've actually got on your PC and you can look at more categories here as well and set this up optimize your drives and stuff like that and you could just turn this on and toggle it on if you do need to use software to run cleaning on your PC you can use free programs uh, like Bleachbit Bleachbit is a pretty good tool it's free to use and there is a portable version which means it's not going to be installed on your PC you can basically download this and uh, run this and it will clean off all your temporary files and a lot of other stuff on your PC so I would advise you if you do need to use something use something like Bleachbit rather than say CCleaner and other types of tools like that which actually have got bloated over the years and start to really slow down the whole system so I'd steer clear of those and use something like this which has you know you know less footprint on the system it's not going to use all your resources up it's a portable app but if you do need to use Windows you can always use that uh, storage sense to set that up so storage sense is pretty easy I'm just going to remove these temporary files here and I'm also going to remove these download uh, files in my download area you've got a previous uh, Windows installation here which is 5.38 gigabytes I'm going to leave that for there for the time being and of course we can uh, clean up the Windows updates area which is 2.98 gigabytes so we'll let that go through and of course recycle bin we'll give that a clean thumbnails and we're just checking here to make sure that we're not getting rid of stuff that we actually want on the system so let me go ahead and just remove this stuff and it'll go ahead and remove that from the computer and this is built into Windows 
and that should be good enough for most people nowadays you don't you can set this up to automatically clean these areas so you don't have to constantly go through this whole process you can see it's starting to purge this area uh, right now so also having all of the data stored on your uh, desktop like uh, say for instance a 30 gigabyte folder uh, we're full of mo movies and stuff like that and maybe having a big 100 gigabyte folder full of music down uh, on the desktop as well that's going to slow down the whole process and also having uh, your drive running at full capacity if the drive is running at full capacity and it's in the red it will slow the pc down really badly and you really don't want to do that so just make sure that you keep uh, your regular maintenance up and keep uh, cleaning the old programs from the uh, pc regularly and remove any sort of stuff you don't use and this will keep it nice and uh, clean and make the pc run a lot smoother clean out any sort of cache files and you should be pretty much good to go anyway assuming that you don't have any sort of hardware issues or any sort of dust build up in your computer or any sort of things like that going on and it's just generally uh, clutter on your uh, windows system then doing all those things will basically make your experience a lot more better keeping the programs to a minimum but of course over time when you keep constantly installing stuff it will generally slow down uh, over time because obviously services and applications adding files everywhere you know it does actually build up and slow down the pc if you've not reinstalled windows for many years anyway with that said i think that's going to be about it my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk Thanks again for watching guys. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.